And a lot of people come here and think it was a, a lunatic asylum. And you have to tell them it was not a lunatic asylum. In those days, the word asylum was used as a haven. The Strabroat Museum is a social history museum and we're all about stories about Strabroat Island. Our collection policy is limited by geography of the island so we don't collect anything in our collections that isn't directly related to North Strabroat Island, its history and its people and if it doesn't have a story we don't take the item. Our buildings are also part of our museum's collection. They're also artefacts in our collection and they're a mixture of replica and um, original buildings that have been restored and they represent the architectural style of the Dunwich Benevolent Asylum which operated here for about 80 years. The Dunwich Benevolent Asylum was established in 1864 and it was designed to service the whole of Queensland. Um, it is a cultural inheritance from the British um, and it's built along the lines of the British workhouse or poorhouse which every parish in sort of Britain had and it based on the, no the notion of the undeserving poor where you uh, punish or put out of the public eye um, sick old um, people so they were removed from the towns and the, the Brisbane city and all areas of Queensland and put here to sort of die out of the public eye. It all began when Queensland was separated from New South Wales. The Queensland government was very embarrassed because the old pioneers who'd been opening up the West for years and years of drovers, carpenters, timber getters, all those men had grown very old. And some of them were sick, some were lame, some were just so ill they couldn't work and there was no pension. So the council decided to round them all up and built them a town on Dunwich. And all these old people were rounded up from Brisbane and sent out here. They were looked after till they died. And learning about the benevolent asylum has given me a totally different aspect on life at that time from 1865 to 1946. That's when it opened in the harvest. So people really had a very poor, hard life because they were mainly pioneers. And they'd come from England and then they had to get and live in the bush and work in the bush all the time. So it's been a very worthwhile 20 years. And I've been a volunteer the whole time. In this building, the Fowl Ward, we try to recreate or, or tell the story of that chapter of Dunwich's history. So we start with photographs on the wall from the very earliest photographs. Most of our photographs are from the John Oxley Library, or State Library of Queensland, and they show Dunwich with the huge dormitory buildings. Um, and all of the... Uh, so we try and tell the story through text and old photographs. We also have artefacts that come from the Dunwich Benevolent Asylum which have been donated to us by members of the community. For example, this table is a table from the Men's Mess Hall, um, which is the Dunwich Public Hall today. Also the beds, they're beds from the general wards. Um, in 2010, we hope to create some really simple but exciting educational programs about the Dunwich Benevolent Asylum for our visitors. We get visitors from all over Australia coming and conducting genealogical research from inmates or relatives from the Benevolent Asylum era. Well, I've worked here for 20 years and I've learned so much that it's unbelievable. 